Oh, and welcome back. Check this out. This is the Patriot Cargo Cub. I am super enthusiastic to bring this to you today. I designed this after last week's episode with the Simple Cub where I was having balancing issues. So I thought, well, first maybe I could redesign the Simple Cub and get it fixed, but decided it was better to just build my own fuselage. And if I'm building my own fuselage, why not just design it from scratch? So that's what I did. I built an entirely new fuselage for my Patriot Cargo Cub. Now, it does use the same wing as the Simple Cub because I had no issues with that, and I like this wing a lot. It's very simple. <laughs> it's straightforward, and it works. Uh, only modification to that is I painted it, so you guys can comment on my paint job in the comment section below. I'm new, so cut me a little bit of slack. Anyway, onto the fuselage. The fuselage is the main thing I modified. You'll notice that this fuselage is completely straight. There are no curved lines on the fuselage, and that is on purpose. Because the issue I bumped into was when I was modeling the plane, it was hard to transfer the lines to the foam board. So by having straight parallel lines, I could transfer the lines much quicker to the foam board. So um, it's obviously based on a cargo cubs or on a regular simple cub. So I shortened it up. I made this section flat to mount my landing gear to. So I could glue the landing gear directly to the bottom of the plane. It also allows me to take measurements from the top of the plane down to the bottom when I'm building it so that I get everything symmetrical. The other thing I did to help with symmetry is I put on the inside of it here little square pieces of foam. These are two by two inch square foam pieces and as I was building it I glued those in position to increase the rigidness of the frame and make sure it doesn't flex during construction. Um, I also widened the fuselage where the tail connects. The reason I widened this is because I found with my simple cub, the tail was flexing to the side, kind of. So by widening the fuselage here, it makes it kind of like a wider balance beam. It doesn't allow the tail to flex as much if you're off a little bit when you cut the slots in the back. So having the slots be on a wider fuselage just made it easier to get this stabilizer perpendicular to the tail and in the correct position with relation to the plane. Other thing I did, I mounted the servos on top. I could have mounted the servos on the inside, um, mainly personal preference coming in here. I thought that mounting the servos on top would be a lot easier to just get them tuned in. And in many ways, I was correct, it is easier to tune the servos in and adjust them when they're on top. Now, on my fuselage models, I will probably move these back to the inside of the fuselage. Up on the front, getting to the main modification to my design here from the original is I decided I didn't want that battery tray. I, you heard me talk about it in the review, so I got rid of it. And this is my replacement. I moved the motor more forward, so that moves the weight more forward to start with. And I hard mounted it in place using some popsicle sticks here and a piece of hardboard that is acting as my firewood, uh, my firewall, excuse me. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out hardboard, check it out. You can buy it in four by eight sheets for only $7, and it is incredible to build with. It's super strong, really like hardboard. Now, that is also reinforced by two pieces of regular foam board on either side of the back, you can see right here. And then the battery is wedged between. The reason the battery is wedged between is to allow it to move forward and backward. So I can slide the battery forward, push it into there, it'll wedge that battery down, hold it in place, and allow me to adjust the balance quite easily as opposed to trying to move the motor, the servo, whatever happens to be connected to a quick change tray. So, very easy to balance. But let's get to the reason that you guys are probably wondering about why is it called a cargo cub and not just a Patriot cub. The reason for that is because of this little cargo bay down on the bottom. So give me a minute here, I'm gonna turn on my control. Okay, control is on. Now, when I hit the switch on the controller, the cargo bay opens up, so this will allow me to drop parachuters or nerf darts or whatever I want out of it. So if you guys have an idea for something you want me to drop from this little cub, let me know and I'll try to do that when I film the drop video for this plane. In the meantime though, let me explain how this works. So there's a single servo, you can kind of see it up here, which has two linkages mounted to it. The two linkages come down and mount to either door on a piece of popsicle stick. So when the servo is down like it is now, the doors are open. When I flip the switch and the servo goes in, the doors will close. So very simple mechanism, was super easy to make once I figured it out. And um, yeah, it works great. 
but I've only done one test drop with it to date because I'm still horrible at landings, so I didn't want to go crash the plane before I could film this video. Uh, that being said, I did fly the plane a lot without the cargo bay installed, and it flew phenomenally, so I was very happy with the flight characteristics. It was super easy to balance right off the bat, move that battery right to where I needed it to be, and balance it out. Good to go. Um, other things about this, um, yeah, it was just fun to build. I did move the landing gear to the front section instead of mounting it in the back. You'll notice during the flight videos I have right now of it, the landing gear is mounted right here. That was the original design. I moved the landing gear to the front when I um, decided to add that cargo bay. So in future, I may be modifying the landing gear mounting, but we'll get to that in another video. In the meantime, this has been Patriot Contraptions. This is the Cargo Cub. Let me know your opinions of it below, and thanks for watching. I enjoy making these videos, so be sure to subscribe and have a fantastic day. Patriot Contraptions, signing out. He's going to have to go for it, and oh, that was perfect.